It's time for another video. Why do I have these headphones on? Hmm, do I need them? I don't know. Sometimes I just feel, it just feels nice having them on. On April 23rd, which was freaking months ago, several months ago, I posted, I'm considering doing a freelance portfolio review for the channel. Leave a link below to be considered. Your work will appear on video. Wow, that sounds really official. I didn't do anything with it because, I don't know, it was a good idea. So guess what? If you were unlucky enough to put your comment in there, guess who's going? Guess what? Eric, your time is up. It's time to review this design. All right, so right away, we're just gonna we're just gonna do a review. So right away, my eye goes right to the work. I see he's done some kind of crazy rebrand. Looks like for some kind of car. Come on, we got a yawn for some kind of car company. Then we got travel a travel group so like some packaging and this looks like some more branding some some business cards maybe possibly some more packaging a lot of print looks like he does a lot of print stuff a lot of branding stuff looks like there's a he built a website okay so right away i see this guy this guy looks like he has some good stuff going here now the header is clean the logo is nice and the menu is simple and i and it start a project like i get it like i get i can i can just click here What's gonna happen when I click? Oh, that's nice. It's a nice little Calendly invite there. Is it one dollar? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I asked you to pay a symbolic one dollar. Stop people from scheduling insulation phone calls. Only serious. <laughs> I hope that's working. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Okay, so let's see. So it's a solid. It's a solid design. Oh, that's interesting. So I must have got a, a separate page when I hit the Facebook link. Let's see. Go back. Go back. Get on back there. Get on now, back. All right, we'll just start over. I'm in an endless loop. Oh, it took me to work. Okay, that makes sense. Well, let's look at the homepage. Helping you to design brands. Yeah. We partner with ambitious CEOs to help them. Yeah, it's it's good. I like the hand. I like the. I like the. Ooh, I like the. Par I like the parallax there. That's nice. This is a little. I think. Grow your business faster. Start a pro. Uh oh, we got to fix that. So I think. I think you had the right idea sending to the work page, where your work page is like, boom. This is our. This look at it. This is what you're going to get with us. What do you think about that, huh? Yeah, that's what I think that's what you got to do on the home page. I think I'd take the work, this section right here. I think I'd put it above this. So like it would say helping you design your brands and then see our work. And then this. And then this. I think that would be better because I want to see the work. I want to I want the proof. This is nice how it works. Book or free, you know. I don't know. I actually kind of feel like this whole section, these two sections, I would just get rid of these sections, I think. I think I would just get rid of these two sections completely because you got, you got, this is what we do. Here it is. This is how we do it. Let's go. Show me, sh put your money where your mouth is and let's do what this, this shit says. And look, he's got some great, let's see. Got some great testimonials. It's great. It's great. All right. Nice. Okay. Next, Mr. Michael Stancato. Look at this crazy art. It's super interesting. I don't know how you come up with where where the imagination comes from. I'd be interested to see like some kind of creative brief as to how you get to this. You know, like where where the where the brief starts and where it ends up, or like maybe even your thinking behind where you started and then how you got here. But this is super interesting. This is just like straight up like good art. So I don't even know how to how to critique it other than you know I think it's extremely obvious what you're capable of doing by looking at this series of photos. Yeah, I think it's extremely is this a freaking painting? Holy shit. At first glance, it looked like a photo. 
right? I was almost like, I was almost like, why is this photo in here? That's random. <laughs> I was like, he's got all these paintings and they just got one photo. Like what? That's weird. No, it's a fucking painting. It's freaking, it's a goddamn gorgeous painting. That's why it's, it looks like a photo. You're next, Tommy. We're going to be Hans. Here we go. Oh, very nice. So here's something I noticed about Behance. Every time, I, every time I record videos, I yawn. I yawn. It seems like it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one because there's a lot of really interesting stuff that I'm seeing here. This project and this project look incredible. But everything else, this looks older. This is literally just a piece of paper, so it doesn't the, the 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 logos this looks rushed like like the logo is smushed in here because it's not centered or anything but like this one has this nice presentation look at the angles on this the little accent this is fucking beautiful Th look at this it's bright blue the, it, it looks like a full package right i gotta look further now looks great looks great okay okay Look at this. I think you could look at a little more. I think you could look at a couple more Behance profiles and see how how in depth they go with this stuff. You got a lot of elements here that are really good. I feel like you could go deeper. You could definitely go deeper. Show me the logo, you know, by itself in multiple different colors or try to show me some of the thought process that went behind this because I don't get it. Like I see it's a travel site, but who's it for? You know, who, who's the target market here? Well, these are, these are not aligned and these, these fonts are different. So you got to fix that. Let's look at these other ones. Now you got, you even got a shirt in here. So look, you got, I, I feel like this, this photo right here, this just cropped right here is so much more strong. It's so much stronger than this photo. This is stronger than this because this is more real. I feel like I could pick it up if it looks and feels good. I don't know if this is photoshopped or not because that it's eking out right there. So you might want to fix that. Oh, I see. So here we go. Now see, this is this is nice. You have the nice embroidered logo, but then you show what you did to get there. Like this is this is great. You did some sketches. So there's gotta be there's gotta be a little more to this. You know what what's up with the bird? What does the bird represent? Why 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 is he sitting on a book? Why is he red? You know, like what what's the story here? There is a story. Put the story in this case study. Let me know the let me feel what it's like to work with you. Who's next? Ari. It could be Ari. It could be Ari. But either way, I'm probably ruining it. So I apologize. Look at this. Holy crap. This person is i mean i don't know if you guys have seen my behance but i have like two followers okay so my behance profile sucks i've never had enough time to properly update it and that's a huge problem but since i'm not really going for that kind of work anymore i'm probably never going to <laughs> but um so ari has a ton of stuff on here which is a different approach to behance because normally people just put like their absolute favorite like perfect projects up as opposed to everything now this is really nice this is really nice you got you got the uh the target it looks like i'm gonna guess the target uh audience right here you got the color palette it's a it's a foundation uh probably for women i'm gonna guess um oh i didn't read this part the Lensage foundation website and digital marketing okay so let's see if i got it right Let's see funding research breast cancer yep look, look dude this type Woo! look at this typography right here look at that look at that typography though all the all that's on this page right now is just type type in a couple circles and some lines couldn't be more simple but man this is fucking nice this is nice i'm, I'm digging this she got the timeline on here the needs and the goals the solution that they came up with I don't know. Did you? I'm gonna guess that you use the uh, Ben Burns perfect case study for this, or the complete case study. 
Because <laughs> it, it looks like it. Because it's good. All right. The challenge. The issues. Lack of, oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. You see how she has this cut out and they're holding on to it? God. That is... That's fucking genius. Bravo. Bravo. It connects the photo to the project, like to, to, the, to the layout. It feels so, it has so much depth. Like, it's so good. I'm going to steal this. I'm stealing this. I'm stealing this for Bloom. We're going to be, we're going to hold on to something. It's going to be good. Yep, your typography is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Are you serious? This is good. This is really good. Did you design these icons or did you just choose these icons? Because if you guys design these too, like, holy crap, you guys really went for it. Button UI and it looks great. Measurable goals. I mean, just a lot of great information. Oh, here we go. This is a great way to show off the design, all the different layouts that you're capable of. This really feels like like this, this right here. Like, I don't want to say it feels like a template. That, that sounds negative. It's not a, it doesn't seem like a temp. It seems like, that's not what I want to say. It's like a complete package. It looks like they really went the extra mile and they really, they really package this thing up to be like, this looks expensive. It looks like whoever, whoever the hell the Lynn Sage Foundation is, it looks like they spent a ton of money on this. Now, did they? I don't know. I have no idea, but it sure looks like they did. So here's the mobile version, which is absolutely critical. Love this. Looks great. I like the app elements. Honestly, though, I feel like I'm a little confused. This must be the home page. So I don't know. This seems like a weird image to start with. Like this, these, this. Is this the home page? I guess I put the home page first. This looks like a home page and this looks like a home page. I don't know. I'm confused. Awesome. Looks amazing. I'm going to. I Should we look at another one? Oh, man. Is this one going to be just as good? Holy shit. It's good. It's nice. I like the scribbling. It's like professional, but fun because like a kid got into it and kind of screwed it up. But, you know, but it still kind of makes sense. <laughs> I don't know about this. This is I don't know about the I don't know about the the animated thing. Does it go with it? Elevate K through 12. So it's like, OK, seamless HR portal. Oh, it's an HR portal. OK, so, yeah, that's techie. That makes sense. OK, I love this kind of stuff. Looks great. Clean Co. Those, those are some happy ass people. Look at this. More beautiful typography, but a completely different typeface. You know, she can do multiple projects. She can do she can do sans serif. She can do serif. I mean, I only use sans serif. I can't use serifs. I don't like them. I can't I can't make it look good. All right. Look at this. That looks great. I don't know. I can't do it. I don't like serifs, but this looks good. This looks really good. Look at this. It's clean as hell. Oh my God. So clean. Looks beautiful. Amazing. All right. Well, look, I could go on, but guys, go check this. Go check her out. Woo. It's a saucy. That's a saucy profile. Off to lattice design we go. Ooh. So this is kind of like a, uh, I don't like this. Got to fix that. That's not good. We help businesses build impressionable brands, products, and experiences through meticulous design. Drop us a line. Okay. I like it. Uh, the projects are right here. And do these coincide? So if I click this and I click this, does it go to the same place? Okay, it does. 30 days of posters. Oh, yeah. I remember some of these posters. Basically, what do we know? We know what they do. We see that they they mostly do. Let's see. Got an app, it looks like, or possibly a website. Website, some print. Dashboard. I'm doing a dashboard right now. Dashboards are a pain in the ass. Printing press management system. That sounds like a pain in the ass. UX architecture. Nice. Now, let's see, this is a good project right here. You can see, you can really see how it went together, but you'll notice something. You'll notice something different between this and Ari's post or Ari's uh, Ari's work. And that is that although all the elements look really good, right? They all look great. The problem is, is that they're not flowing together. So here, oh, you know what? This, this is, okay, I didn't notice this at first. I really want this line to keep going. Um, I want this blue line to keep going up. So this is this one like 
piece, it feels like, you know? I didn't notice this before, but what I wanted to say is the chunks aren't flowing together. They're like chunk, 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 okay? Like, you want them to flow together. So like this gray thing right here, it would have been great maybe if this was, this whole thing was background was gray or something. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying though. Like, so it goes together. You know, maybe have like one of these little wispy lines, you know, going like, woo, and it goes, it connects, you know, or maybe this, maybe this connects here and it goes to the prototype and then this connects down to here. I, I don't know. Here we go. This is nice. See how this is underneath here? So it's overlapped, create some depth. That's good. This depth is great. This shadow makes me feel like there's some depth here. Now see here would be great if this blue line kind of cut into this right and then these little dots and lines could be white over the top of the blue thing and then it would look like you know it was like f f coming you know coming together you know what i mean does that make sense like this this is great see how it comes on top looks good this is actually now see this the depth is cut off right you don't want to do that you want to bring this in so the so the edge stops here why is it why is it a plus anyway same with this. this. You don't want it to be cut off. Let's bring those in. Again, here with the lines, you could have did the same thing. Uh, this shouldn't, let's not cut this off. Let's like, let's let it float out, you know? Oh, you know what? One, two, three, four. I get that. I get that. No, don't, don't, don't change that. That's great. We do got to make these connect somehow. If you could connect those, that would be like, that would be like a really nice case study. It is a nice case study, but it'd be like 10 out of 10. Okay, well, I'm just going to start doing one project at a time because this is too much. We're going to go for the best that they have, the top one. John, Logo Storm, simple logo. Okay, again, what I would do is all of this, I don't care about any of this as someone looking for a logo. I don't care about any of this. As you notice, I scrolled right down to this. I just want to see the logos. I want to see the work. I'm going to assume that this is your best project because it's your first one. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so you did some print material, some more print, logo on the building. It's very big, it's a big logo. T-shirts, this is nice. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is I don't know who the customer is. I don't know who the target is. I don't know who's, who's buying this stuff. I don't know why you went with these colors. I, I need more information. I need to know why you made the dis the choices you made in this project. If you can show me why you did what you did, then I'll know what it's like to work with you and I'll know whether or not I want to work with you. Right now, I have I don't know. I don't know anything about the decisions that were made for these. So that's what I would do. Add the why and the how. Where it, the sketches, the idea books, the brainstorming. Why did you do what you did? Next, Raul. Raul had look at this. Bam! Look at those numbers. Look at those numbers. They look good. They look good. I'm interested. It's got this bright blue. Design is life. It matches the branding of Behance, which is nice. <laughs> I wish my nose would stop itching. That would be amazing. <laughs> when I make videos, I yawn and my nose starts itching. I don't it's like a it's like a disease. It's like a it's like a video disease that happens to me. Alright. So what are we going to assume? This is a lot of work on here. And it, to be honest with you, it all looks, I'm, I'm excited. But we're going to do the first one because we're going to assume that the first one's the best. The Content Creative Co. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, Raul, because it only has one like and all these other ones have more reviews. All right, let's do it. Ooh, animated. The Content Creative Co. I'm guessing it's very like it's inclusive it's you know it's for everyone the content creative co I like I like the colors love it content okay all right are these like these are different iterations for ads marketing no i thought for sure you would tell me why you made the decisions but just like just like john we got to know why you made the decisions you made let's try another one
look, the work is beautiful. It's beautiful. This is this is awesome. This is a great idea. Look at the depth that he created by by cutting this out and making it look like it was going behind his hand. Beautiful lighting. I, I like these little. I like this little. I don't know what it is. A G, like a G S initial S initial G. Oh, oh, I see. This is a G, and this is an S. It's it's highlighting it. Okay, that makes sense. I think maybe I'd make these a little darker to make that more obvious. Or maybe show like maybe show like the the logo in white and then be like here's highlighted the G here's the highlighted S you know so I know like what's going on here because I wasn't really sure what the, what was going on here oh like this so yeah okay so you're telling me what it is before showing it to me that's fine that's my I'm probably just being fucking stupid all right I like the different look I like the different um, iterations this looks nice on some merch I get that it's for for photographers. Again, I just want to see more of why you made the decisions you made. That's all. Here we go. These numbers are looking good. These are looking beautiful. He's obviously does like some kind of, he does like branding and logos. I like how they're all the same size. It's very like uniform. So I expect each of these projects because of how they look to be equally as good because they all look very uniform and it looks and like I can I can feel like and tell that you designed all of these and they they look great. So let's start with the first one. Oh. That's strong. That's a strong opening. It's strong. I like it. Damn. Look at that. Is this architecture real? How did you do this? Did you just keep photoshopping this line up? I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but this is super interesting. I just want to keep I just want to keep scrolling down and trying to figure out what is even happening. Is this a real building? It must be because you can see the reflection of the beam right here possibly. This beam. Let's keep you looking. Introduction. Oh, you see I like how this is small. That means we're going to see a lot of good stuff. Huh? It's an architectural design and construction firm that strives for sustainable innovation to define architecture identity. All right. Looks beautiful. I love the typography. Now don't hate me, but this is a little fuzzy. You seeing how it's fuzzy? Now this line right here, that line is beautiful and clean, but this line fuzzy. So let's fix that. Let's get that fixed because my God, this is beautiful and you don't want to ruin it with some a fuzzy line. I imagine that's a huge photo, but if it's a PNG and it's black and white, it really shouldn't be that large of a photo. Like as far as like loading it, you shouldn't have to worry about, oh. You know what? He's probably uploading this photo to Behance. It's probably like screwing with it. But I would try to see if I can get that fixed. Anyway, beautiful typography, introduction, the project, the concept, sketches. Oh, it's great. Look at this construction, sketches the construction, sketches the sustainability, and then puts them together. Oh my God. So obviously this guy's a genius, okay? He can come up with branding stuff. I guess I did feel like it was a leaf, but I didn't know why. I guess I felt like it was a leaf and I thought I was wrong about it being a leaf. But no, it's a leaf because it's because of sustainability is obviously at like their core. Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's using the golden ratio. <laughs> nice touch. Not necessary, but it's nice when you get it in there and it works, you know? I love Din Alternate. Oh, I love Din. It's a beautiful font. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is so good. Let's we have to look at another one. Chinya Gar. It's a tea shop. And I yeah, I'm I'm probably destroying the name of it. I'm so sorry. Look at this. Project introduction. Problems. My role, process, mood board, sketches. Okay, so right away I'm noticing that this project is like, this project is so much put together, so much better than this one. Again, this one has all the chunks. Chunk, 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 chunk. But it doesn't really flow together. So if you could figure out a way to get this to flow together a little better, this project would be really strong because it's really clean, like all like this kind of stuff when you went from yellow to white with this pattern. Like that's a genius. Maybe if you like made the cups like big 
yellow at the top or big white and then get smaller and smaller and smaller into like into just white that would be pretty sweet something like that but y you don't need me telling you this shit you're obviously an extremely creative person you probably just didn't have enough time to put this together like most creatives that's usually what it is you're too busy working which is a good thing i like this this is nice Ooh, yeah this first one is strong oh my god this one's a this one's a strong project bravo dude bravo beautiful holy crap your designs are good all right well, who's next med let's do it we're going to dribble i uh-oh dribble Are you okay dribble dribbles down all right well, I'm sorry, but Dribble, I guess Dribble's down. This looked really good, though. I wanted to see this. I liked this. Are you sure you're down? All right. Taylor Reed, here we go. No! TayLP.org? Maybe. Maybe. No! <laughs> cool. It, wait, look, is my internet going down? Like, what the fuck's going on? Okay, let's see Jennifer. How are you? Oh, that's my internet's good. working. You look great and you smell fantastic, too. Oh, that's, that's inappropriate, Jimmy Kimball. Why would you say she smells fantastic? If you were brave enough, if you were brave enough to ask me to review your, review your portfolio, good on you. Thanks for letting me use your portfolio. I hope you weren't offended. I only tried to be helpful. Um, everybody's portfolio looked great. You guys... Everybody has, you know, like it was crazy. It was crazy. It was a, it was a great mix of a great, a great mix of profiles. I hope I had. I hope I gave some kind of constructive criticism to help you make them better. If you'd like me to, if you'd like me to review your portfolio, leave it in the thing. Leave it in the comments, and uh, you know, wherever it is, your website, your Behance. I'm gonna go for the first thing that I see because that should be the best that you have. And that's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna critique. And hopefully try to like give you some actual tips to make it better. Alright? That's all I got. If you guys need help, you know where I am. I'm all over the goddamn internet, okay? I'm all over the fucking place. You need you wanna ask me a question? Step up, ask a question, I'll help you. Whatever you need. I love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Use the best. Why am I yawning? Why am I yawning? I'm not tired. In fact, I'm a little, like, like I'm not real, I, I wouldn't say I'm nervous, but I'm a little nervous being on camera. I mean, it's a little, like, it's a little weird. You know, I, I, you know, I don't feel like totally relaxed enough to yawn. What the fuck? Anyway.